It's time for the weekly No Pain, No Gain Market Update with the team at Payne Capital Management here in New York City. Good morning. This is Bob Payne, Chief Investment Strategist here at Payne Capital Management. Stocks once again set records this week with the Dow closing above 32,000 for the first time in history, rallying almost 1,000 points in just five trading sessions. Now, stocks surge globally on the news that the ECB, the European Central Bank, would stand alongside our own Federal Reserve with promises to significantly increase bond purchases in order to help stabilize interest rates. Essentially, the message from the central banks is they will continue to do whatever it takes to control a spike in rates, whether here in the good old US of A or in Europe. In addition, the much anticipated $1.9 trillion relief bill was signed into law by President Biden this week, who also said every adult in the U.S. will be able to get a vaccine by May 1st. So it's no surprise that the markets rocketed higher, powered by the twin booster engines of monetary and fiscal policy. Value stocks, you know, energy, financial, industrials continue to outperform on the expectation that all this stimulus will reopen the economy sooner than expected and profits will surge from pent-up demand. But growth stocks led by Megatech also had a good week, recovering nicely from correction territory. At the same time, bond yields fell for the first time in five sessions. The stabilization in the bond market is what helped tech stocks recover some of their recent losses. Now, everyone knows that Megatech stocks are good companies with good stories, but they're trading at a very expensive valuation. Meanwhile, the elephant in the room continues to be inflation and ultimately the bond market, with the ink barely dry on the $1.9 trillion package, the politicians already alluded to an additional $3 trillion package for infrastructure. Now, printing dollars tends to be inflationary, and historically, valuations tend to contract if inflation rises and pushes interest rates higher, a big negative for growth stocks. Meanwhile, this year's big winners the value companies are still relatively cheap in valuation versus growth, pay higher dividends. And believe it or not, over your lifetime, value stocks have outperformed growth stocks. So over my 45 years as a financial advisor and as an investor, I've often observed good things tend to happen to stocks at cheap prices. Now, if you're sitting there thinking, do I have the right portfolio to this new inflationary environment? Why sit there and wonder when you could know? My son, Ryan, and I have 65 years of combined industry experience of building low-cost, tax-efficient, goal-based portfolios. All you have to do to take advantage of that expertise is text or call 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Or just simply call 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-PLAN-NYC. Hey, this is Bob Payne. I'm the Chief Investment Officer here at Payne Capital Management.